Get in. I'll drive real slow. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. I'm Matt. And we're back with Batman the Animated Series, Season 1, Episode 19. Matt, last episode, it was Two-Face, the Two-Face Part 2 right. storyline. And I inaccurately predicted that like this was going to be his... I mean, it is a village and or, origin story, but he hasn't dived completely into the dark side yet. Right. Yeah. He still, got, has, still has conflicting emotions. Yeah, Grace, who is a hell of a woman. I don't think man or woman, that would be something that would happen very often. Right. It's unfortunate, but he found a winner. But I, you know, I predicted probably with high degree of accuracy that she's going to die. <laughs> I feel I feel like at some point she's going to pass, yeah. get killed, okay. and his alter ego is just going to completely take over, and that's going to be the end of it. Yeah, and he's going to be almost, rede uh, you know, unredeemable. And I thought that's what was going to happen in part two was like a ricochet bullet was going to get her by chance. Right, right, right. Cementing his chance ideology thing. He but does. how many how many episodes are in season one? There's like, like what, 30, 50, 30 or 50 or something It's crazy a lot. Like it's an insane amount it's so, like yeah. way more than today's so they got they got plenty of plenty of time to do whatever they want to do yeah it's crazy because like the amount of time the, the amount of content that they had to put out dude it's so much like nowadays it's like 20 episodes and then that's a season and then if, they, if that even sometimes but because like the the storylines and the everything has been so high quality usually the more you put out like the lower quality it is kind of because yeah. they put a lot of filler in there no i, I think it's really good so far Anyways, guys, before we jump in episode 19, if you want to support us, just check us out on Patreon. We have our full length uncut reactions. We also have the next four weeks on there. So let's jump in. So there he is, Scarecrow. Yeah. Oh, when you murder Scarecrow, Shane. Oh, yeah. Well, Look at Gotham State's Brian Rogers. Well, if we had to base or base it on the football uniforms alone, this was back in the 1930s. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they got high-tech scientific computers and then 1930s football outfits. Yeah. Maybe, but he's right. The scouts will be watching me real close against tech. Oh, no sweat. You'll dazzle them. <laughs> I hope so. Making the pros means I can help out my folks. Heavily favored middleweight champ Rudy Lovell set two new records. One for the shortest fight in history. The other for the 50-yard dash. Goalie Rick Gale came up with a novel way to defend his goal. Rather unorthodox, wouldn't you say, Rick? What the hell? It's got to be some kind of neurotoxin that's making everybody freak out like that. Is that how you act when you play baseball or basketball, Shane? Exactly. I'm worse. Telegram for Brian Rogers. Uh, here you go. Good evening, gentlemen. Is that, that's a scarecrow, isn't it? Yep. Dear Brian, best of luck against Tech, and remember that only a fool knows no fear. As I said, weird. Weird. Now, this uh, is just mean spirited right here. Just to fuck with all these people. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, uh, let, let's try a run. Off tackle. On third and 25, we need to pass. Are you okay, man? Yeah, yeah. No, no problem. Third and 25, man. No! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! His ass will get now. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the security can spear him. <laughs> so big the guy totally free right there on the field brian rogers the rock he was under a lot of pressure it's robin what the hell time to punch in oh, back no, in the day not him come on this way because i can tell you what's gonna happen but i won't i won't spoil it for you oh no yeah. Robin. It's like Home Alone, too. Robin, give me a hand. He's too scared. I, I can't catch this. Whoa. 
Batman dies in the end of the... Uh, yeah. The end of the series. See how quick that that changed? Yeah. <laughs> he smiles at her. This will take care of Bird Boy. If I saw Batman, the only thing I would do is run. If I was a criminal, don't try to fight him. Don't you, certainly don't try to kill him. I probably wouldn't even run. I'd just probably just sit down and just be like, "Well, it's over." I was scared to death. I, I couldn't even think. It was so unreal. So what is he doing, though? He's got to poison him somehow. It's too strange that both you and your roommate would have panic attacks on the same day. Oh. I still can't believe it. I... It has to be something related to that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was a roommate. Did... Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, there's some... Did you see this? A screwy telegram? Sure. Hey, what's this? Our lead. Take it easy, fella. He's tested on kitties? No, I don't know about that, Batman. Oh, yeah. I suspect the chemical is absorbed oh, no. through the skin. His girlfriend Catwoman wouldn't appreciate that. I wonder how he'll react to that. Nothing's happening. Yet. <laughs> Just as I thought. I got a lot. Batman lost some brownie points on that one testing on kitties. Yeah. I don't like that. Now that is a hell of a woman. That's my kind of woman right there. Yeah. She'll keep me fed. Looks like she's got those uh, varicose veins and she's wrapping her legs up. This is for Jonathan Crane. Yeah, I got it. Hey, corn on the cob. A scarecrow's gotta love that. <laughs> his appetite. Whoa. You're not supposed to be here. No, you can't do that. It's it's against the rules. You can't. Hey, there's our buddy. Hey. Missed last less never mind. What the fuck? There he is. Lackluster. That was the word I was looking for. This is seriously out of order. Don't go in. Professor I don't particularly give a shit what order we do them in. They're just good shows. Good episodes. Yeah. He's new. I ain't seen you lose. Not even once over the last week. Yes, well, I make my own luck. Don't say that. That lucky knows something. And I want to know it too. He's Fighting that hard, so isn't he? It's that oral fixation. <laughs> Who had a horse? Oh, yeah, and the. Uh, yeah. Huh? Lost? You have that bewildered look. But your sort always does. I ain't lost. How come you always win, Mr. Lucky? It's quite simple, actually. I fix the games. Hey, is this some kind of joke? It's no joke, I assure you. The Scarecrow! <gasps> so now you understand step one in how I fix an athletic contest. I shall proceed to step two. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we found him. Scared as a rat at a cat convention. I've never seen anything like it. Steady, Dick. No! I'm not afraid. Not afraid. No! Oh! He's like more in the middle. <laughs> I feel like Batman's always at the right place at the right time. Yeah. I learned to walk on a high wire. Now I can't stand on a step stool without freaking. I'm... 
I'm no good to you anymore. Mitch Knoll. You think he's gonna get a telegram? I'd say it's a good bet. I'll only get in the way. You can be my extra set of eyes. Get in. I'll drive real slow. <laughs> I'll drive real slow. Yeah. That's just a hell of a disguise, though. Telegram for Mitch Knoll. No! What? What's wrong? All I did was double park. I'll move it, I swear. Is that, we just had a freckle-faced douche that was the lackey in the last episode. Or Two-Face. There's, there's more than one one ginger in the world, Shane. I know, but it was like the same voice actor. Like, Gee Willigar is that kind of guy. Yeah. God. I think it's funny because he's not very well hidden. Yeah, like you'd see his legs. Jesus. That's not how it's supposed to work. Game's not over yet. There's enough powder in that helmet to panic a packaderm. You're aware that gambling is illegal in Gotham. I need the money, Batman. You know the cost of chemicals these days. No closer, Batman. Unless you want a stampede of half-crazed humanity crushing and clawing each other. Oh, no. Go make yourself useful, Robin. I kind of wish we could see more of like what he's seeing. I prefer a little insurance that you'll be otherwise occupied. No. Lucky that didn't break. Dude, if he had a hold of him with his massive forearms. There we go. Bulbs. Save the day. Good job. He conquered his fear. I also snagged a helmet that had some of this in it. Looks like you got a handle on your problem. Yeah, I'm getting there. Looks like your friend is back on track again. Yeah, I can't wait to congratulate him. You can always send a telegram. <laughs> so that was the first introduction to Robin that the original. Uh, viewers got to see. Yeah. Um, I heard that he didn't come in until season two, so this is insanely out of order. Yeah, he's definitely in season one, quite a bit. I think it was overall a good episode. It was we. It, it somehow, even though it was about fear and yeah, I think it, it lacked kind of. It had the episode was kind of quiet to me. Yeah. It didn't have any standout musical um, themes, like any moments of like escalating music, except for the. the Traditional. Yeah, I mean, Batman. honestly, it was kind of a just another one of the, another boring filler <laughs> episode. It didn't I, really, wasn't really anything significant about it. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, like I, I don't know. It was just wasn't the best. It didn't grab me. Right. But, so some of the things I liked, uh, I actually liked when he was in the asylum, and just for some reason, like being in there and seeing everyone, obviously, and <clears throat> obviously, Two Face at some point goes in. Right. But, you know, when Batman realizes, like, that Scarecrow is in there, you hear Joker laughing. That was awesome. Now, like you said, testing it on the kitty. That was interesting. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I love I love kitties. And oh, I know. I don't like to see that. Yeah, it's interesting. Scarecrow was just fixing the game so he can make money. That's kind of what it was about. I'm, um, su I'm surprised this hasn't happened, like, in real life. Because there's a lot, with all the sports betting and stuff, cause there's a lot of money to be made. I mean, I'm sh games are fixed in some ways. Yeah, I mean, a lot of games definitely are fixed, especially the professional. Yeah. But uh, I'm surprised there hasn't been, like, something more, like, real crooked like this, other than just, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah, like in the NBA, in the, I think, the mid to early to mid-2000s, um, there was a referee that was, he went to prison because they found out he was fixing games. Yeah. But but it was like it's really like he he actually was going to write a book about it and then the NBA paid him a lot of money not to do it and it's because supposedly like the NBA they don't fix anything but they'll they'll come in 
and say, see what this player is doing, this, right. this, and this. Right. We don't really like that. So maybe, you know, you need to call a foul here. And, it, you know, it's right. just around the league. You know what I mean? Like, they, they definitely try to, like, I mean, it's an entertainment show. But, I mean, there's obviously professional athletes. Like, their whole career, their whole livelihood is on the line whether they win or lose. Right. Um, but uh, he was seriously fixing him in a way to where, to if you want to influence a, a game, you call three fouls on an all-star. Right. You take a Michael Jordan, there's four quarters, you call 3,000 him real quick, they sit his ass down for a couple quarters. Yeah, so, take him out of the game. Yeah, they got out of the game because they can't lose him, you know, right. and it, it can it'll change the outcome of the game. Right. That's one of the main things this guy did. You just call fouls yeah. on superstars. Um, he would let fouls slide. Right. Um, and that, that, you know, the fouling system nowadays, it's... It's 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 just like football nowadays. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, like, you know, I don't, I don't like even football w- penalties right now. Like I, the, the, the way they are, man. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't even I don't even watch much much of that anymore, just because it's like it's a, it's kind of a joke because you can't you, you can't get rough, you can't get physical. It's you know it's almost like you know you just got tiptoe through the tulips while you're yeah you know, playing. Well, to me, the pass interference stuff is huge, like, huge, like, um, that, that's some of the, the worst thing, I think, that, in, in the NFL, and then, like, just, you know, going back to first down, when you're in the end zone, yeah. because we had a little bit of pass interference, yeah. it's ridiculous, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, I get, you, you, you definitely, you know, you can't undercut those receivers, that ends their careers, so that's a good rule to change, but I mean, I don't know, man, anyway, so, um, it, it, it's an interesting topic, probably slightly more interesting this episode. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, I'm slightly disappointed that I saw Robin without. I mean, I know he's in the show, but he, I didn't see his origin story. But I assume yeah, I'll get that because if this is like Robin's first appearance, you it know, is. yeah, it and is, and it was kind of a lackluster, embarrassing yeah. performance in his part. Yeah, yeah. Now, anyways, guys, we are watching the original broadcast order, um, and it's mostly because that's what we kind of started on, and I don't want to change it to confuse people. And but if you, and if you don't like it, deal with it. Pretty much, yeah. Guys, we appreciate you regardless. We appreciate you. Leave a comment down below. Check us out next week or on Patreon right now.